Hello, and welcome to Fallout 4, one of the most anticipated games of 2015. So I've checked this game out just a little bit, and overall it is very, very fantastic, but also slightly complicated, so we want to make sure you guys understand what the heck is going on. That is the basic goal of these videos. Also, to have fun, so we're going to go through, and of course, we're probably going to do most of the main quests first, but we're going to delve into some other random quests as well, just kind of for fun. So, uh, as far as the game is concerned, I love it. I know I just recently played Fallout 3. I actually didn't play it when it first came out. It was more of a recent thing, and I loved it. And I and I had uh, uh, played a lot more right before this game came out just to get all, all hyped for it. So I should be all ready for the action in here, not just uh, walk it in kind of noob cake -ish like War. War never changes. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. Then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing. It's that war. War never changes. Well, that was pretty intense. Getting the, the juices flowing, I guess, making you feel all bad and everything. So look at him. Ooh, look how cute he is. I mean, War oh my god. Never no, changes. No, I mean, We're going to knock I mean, him dead at the veterans' house awesome. tonight, hon. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. Alright, so I know a lot of people will actually go through and want to make themselves look, you know, extra specially sexy and everything, but I'm not, I'm not going to delve into that too much. I'm just going to go with the flow on this one. Just, it looks pretty, pretty interesting overall. So I'm cool with that. Alright, so we're jumping in here, man. We're just walking around. I got my little, my little nook over here and got a little baby area and a bunch of other random crap. Ah, good morning, sir. You're Thanks, Codsworth. Of course, sir. <laughs> All right, Codsworth. If you actually look at him, he looks like a, a goofy frog, doesn't he? he? Looks like a really goofy frog with three eyes or something like that. Hey, hon. We should take Codsworth to be service soon, don't you think? Yeah, yeah, I think so. He looks pretty goofy to me. <laughs> so, what am I actually supposed to be doing? I don't think you're actually supposed to do anything right now. You're supposed to walk around and just kind of, kind of do some stuff. So check this out, man. We got some coffee. Oh, sounds like someone made a sticky. Oh god, we go oh my goodness. We're jumping up up and down. Hmm. Little you know, baby, come I was here. At first, but Codsworth's really good with Sean. <laughs> Is that how you play with babies nowadays? Just tickle their chest. 
Alright, alright, that's cool, that's cool, I understand. So overall, how do the graphics look? Pretty nice. I mean, it could be slightly better, but this is this is pretty awesome Hunt. if I have to say wow. anything out about it. How'd a girl like me ever get so lucky, huh? So we're just gonna wander around. Oh, there he is. Oh, we knew it was gonna happen. There's the guy. He's walking up to the front door and he's like, Hello, how are you doing today? Is he just gonna stand there? Oh my god, it took forever to ring that doorbell. Good morning! vault calling. vault vault Remind me again? Why, we're about you, sir, and helping secure your future. You see, vault is the foremost builder of state-of-the-art underground fallout shelters. Vaults, if you will. Luxury accommodations where you can wait out the horrors of nuclear devastation. You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. Urgency? What's so important? Why, nothing less than your entire future. If you haven't noticed, sir, this country has gone to heck in a handbasket. If you'll excuse my language, <laughs> I the get a hand kaboom <laughs> is, it's inevitable, I'm afraid, and coming sooner than you may think, if you catch my meaning. Now, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time, time being a, uh, mm -hmm, a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Awesome. Vault 111. Sweet. Sounds great. Sounds great. Oh, it is. Believe you me. Now, you're already cleared for entrance in the unforeseen event of uh, total atomic annihilation. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope that doesn't happen. I just need to verify some information. Or do I? That's all. <laughs> Um, sure. Yeah, I can't wait for the world to end. So I kind of like that they give you like four <laughs> different options. That's the spirit. Now, let's see. Oh, so they have to. We have to pick out what our things are. So this is actually really important, guys. You want to make sure you pick the right stuff. So you you should probably read and kind of understand what the heck's going on here. But strength is basically like how good you are with like punching, hitting people with weapons, and how much you can carry. So we want a pretty reasonable amount of strength, because we want to be able to carry a lot of stuff, of course. Perception is also pretty important. You know, you only get 20 things as well, so you got to make sure you use them uh, uh, precisely the way you want to use them. You don't have to copy me exactly, but make make sure it's, it's for your playing style. So perception, we want to have a sixth sense. I also use the VAT system a lot, which uh, if you guys don't remember what the VAT system is, it's basically when you press... Uh, the button and the game the game would uh, freeze and you could pick where you wanted to attack people and you got like three extra four or five extra shots on a certain guy in that certain spot so I like perception as well endurance I like to run around at least a little bit so we're gonna get you know a little bit of endurance in here it's pretty much it affects your total health your action point drain everything we might give ourselves another point there if we uh, if we want to charisma this is your ability to charm or convince others I do like convincing people, but not like a whole bunch, you know? It's nice to convince people every once in a while, but, you know, maybe we'll level that up a little bit later on. Intelligence. We do like to be smart, but we don't have to be a genius or anything like that. We'll just make it three. And, uh, of course, we can upgrade it later. Agility. Eh, it affects the action points in the VAT system, so you want to make sure, you know, if I'm using the VAT system a lot with my perception, I want to make sure I have enough points here. So I'm going to make that up to four, and my luck... Uh, I don't really feel like I'm a lucky person in general, so I'm going to keep that at three for now. And we have two extra points. What do we want to give them to? I think I'm going to give them to agility because, like I said, I want to give it. Uh, I want to make sure I use the VAT system a lot, and I'll also go for some endurance so we can run around and do some extra cool stuff. Plus, we get some extra health out of it. All right. So, like I said, we did go over and explain that quite a bit, but um, it's important. So, anyways, I'm just going to name myself my, my name. My name's Chris. So, have some fun with it. And let's accept. Wonderful. So, of course, I'm That's playing on the Steam uh, version, by the way. Walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, <laughs> thanks again. Get out of my house. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. So, by the way, I'm sorry if I talk over people because there's going to be a lot of talking in this first episode. 
Now, I think he needs some of that paternal affection to seem to be so good at. Oh, God. Baby's crying. I don't God's want one. Go on. How are the two most important men in my life doing? Spin the mobile a bit. He loves that. Spin the mobile. Whee! I'm spinning the mobile. Hey, how's my little guy? Much better now, huh? Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. And do what exactly? Sir? Mom? You should come and see this! Codsworth? What's wrong? Oh, crap, dude. What's going on over here? Followed by... Yes, followed by flashes. Blinding flashes. Sounds of explosions. We're, uh, trying to get confirmation. Uh -oh. What? We seem to have lost contact with our affiliate stations. We do, oh, we no. do have... We do have coming in. That's, uh... Confirmed reports, I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations oh. in New York and oh, God. Pennsylvania. My God. Oh, my God. oh we, she is We need to get to the vault. Now! Go to the vault, go to the vault. Whoop, 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 whoop. I think we can run, right? Sprint, man, sprint. Screw the woman. We don't care about the woman. Oh. It's all about me. All about me. Is she running fast? She's fast? No, she's slow as crap, man. She's carrying the baby, too. Slowing her down. I'm gonna get to the vault. I'm gonna make sure I survive. I'm greedy. Son of a gun. I don't want... I don't want to die. Run, run, run. So anyways, um, I, I really like the run ability. I don't know if uh, Fallout New Vegas had a run ability, but I know Fallout 3 did not. Let's go. We need to get in. We're on the list. Infant. Adult male. Adult female. <laughs> oh, there she is. She is here. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, all right. Let's get going, in, y'all, man. What's gonna happen? And we almost made it. So like I was saying, I'm actually playing on the Steam version. I know a lot of you guys might be playing on the uh, PS4 or Xbox One or whatnot, but I like PC, so I'm gonna stick with the Steam version. It's probably pretty much the exact same thing. Here we go. We're getting on a little uh, elevator. We're gonna be okay. the circle. I love you, both of you. We love you too. Oh my Whoa. God. Holy crap, Bola, man! That is pretty darn close. Hold on! Go, 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 go! Oh my god. That was crazy! Honestly, we'd probably, I don't know, I guess the shockwave probably wouldn't be having, like, have any radiation in it yet, so I guess we might be okay. But just getting, like, I just feel like getting that explosion, like, oh, it just seems so deadly. You know, just any of that air, just like, you're dead. We did it. We made it. We're okay. Out of my way, people! Everyone, please step off the elevator and proceed up the stairs. And greedy, I'm selfish. No I'm all of worry, things. Folks. I'm worrying. I'm freaking worrying all over the place. Home. Vault 111. A better future underground. All right, Vault 111. So I don't know if you guys noticed, but on the bottom there, you actually have the the green uh, box thing. It's very, very efficient. I like it a lot. Thanks. What now? Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow me. Sweet. All right. Come on, little buddy. You walk so slow, dude. <laughs> this is our new home. <laughs> I'm just, oh, I'm, just I'm like a freaking rabbit. This He's like a turtle. This is one of our most advanced facilities. Old tortoise or Not something. Not that the others aren't great, mind you. This way. It's gone. Our home. Everything Sir? we had. My mother and father down in D.C. Oh, God, honey. Yeah. What if they didn't make How it? long do you think we'll be down here? Oh, we'll be going over all that in orientation. Just a few medical items we have to get through first. Just checking everyone off the list as they come Oh crap, just some medical items. Oh, no big deal, man. We're gonna hop through here and be, uh, be back in the action in a few minutes. So where are we going? Excuse me. This way, please. Just step in here and put your vault suit on. Decontamination pod. Alright, alright, man. We could get decontaminated. I get, you know, I figure we just get tons of radiation and everything. We have to be prepared for this stuff. We're going deeper in the vault, dude. I'm already like as deep as I can get. That's what he said. Resident secure. Occupant vitals normal. I feel kind of claustrophobic in here, man. Like like legit, I feel really claustrophobic. 
What the heck is going on? Oh, we got frozen. Why'd we get frozen? They lied. They lied to us. It wasn't a decontamination chamber. It was a kill chamber. No, it was probably a freezer chamber. I wanted to say hydroponics for some reason. <laughs> that's that's not the right uh, verbiage right there. That's the right wordage. So anyways, I can't really tell what's going on. All I know is lots of white. Lots of white action. It's kind of snowy and freezy out here. Nothing special. Can we can we get out yet? <coughs> yeah, get me out of here. Oh crap, there's people. <coughs> let me out. Let me out. Oh, they're taking my wife out. Oh crap, dude. Oh man, maybe they'll let me out. Let's check this out. Chills from that man. That that just ain't cool, dude. That was just like one split second. She's gone. They're both gone. Can you imagine if that was your family? That would just be absolutely horrific. Just like literally watching them die with nothing to do and just being like, ah, oh, yeah, whatever. They're gone. <coughs> Are we getting out of here or what? Nice! Oh my goodness. So that was pretty rough right there. Um, we just started the out of time quest. Let's let's make some time out of it. So like I was saying, the bottom green and green square right there, it's very nice. I just like it. Like It tells you exactly how many meters you have to go. And uh, I'm, I'm calling it meters because it just seems like it's a meter, probably. Not, probably not feet or yards or anything like that. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! The heck is that, man? What we got in here? Anything cool? Oh, I got a freaking baton, dude. That's awesome. What else can we find in here? Maybe get a chair or something, a stim pack. We'll take that. Some clipboards and all that crap. So that's the thing about this game. You really do got to find a lot of weird stuff and actually use them. So we got a security terminal. Blah, 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 blah. Alright, I don't really feel like dealing with that crap. Alright, let's get going. Batonify these stupid, these stupid rad roaches. I love batons, man. I want to get, I want to get something even cooler, though. I want to get a baseball bat or something. Or maybe even a sledgehammer. That'd be pretty cool as well. Oh, here's another security baton. Could you come? Die, rad roaches. Roaches? What the hell? What do we got with these terminals so we can find anything cool? Let's play the tape. Oh, it's a game! Alright. Should we play the game? I don't know. I don't think I should actually play this thing, but... Hey, hey. It's part of the game. How high can we get? That's, that's, like... That's not a good way to start talking about things. So we got... Is that a giant squid monster? What the heck is that thing? That was, this is a this game sucks. We quit the game. I'm obviously I'm not a pro at the game. Oh, here we go. We get to take it with us. Oh, we got red menace. Now we can play whenever we want. Maybe we'll get pro at it later and just prove you guys wrong. See how awesome I am. So we can take literally everything if we want to. But I'm not gonna be taking everything. We're just gonna just gonna baton things. We got a baton. That's good enough for me. All right, let's get going in, y'all. Oh, electricity, man. I hope that doesn't kill me. They're killing roaches and everything. So I don't know if you guys noticed, but there's a, a, a way easier transfer way. Oh, you get to block as well. Let's check this out. Block. Oh, dude, it didn't work at all. Get out of here. So you can just get to, like, walk up to him. It's, it's um, better than Skyrim and uh, the previous Fallout games, for sure, when you pick stuff up. What happened here? 
Where is everyone? Weird. Yeah, that's a good. That's a good question. Hello, Mr. Rad Roach. How you doing? So we got. Oh, uh, L and Alt to power attack. What? Oh, cool, man. I didn't know you could do a power attack. So you got a regular swing, and then you got. Uh. Yeah, you get to freaking power attack this bad boy. So you have to hold Alt down before you press it. So you can't, like, press it at the same time. It doesn't really work, so. I don't know, just something you gotta note. It's kind of weird, because you, when, I, when I usually think about doing things like that, I try and press them at the same time, you know? I just click it, but you can't do that. So we got a, oh man, look at that, we got tons of stim packs. Gotta take all this crap. We got uh, some rounds, a pistol, rounds, man, I sound like I'm from the south, don't I? And, ooh, a terminal, what do we got in here? Anything cool or fun? Open the evacuation tunnel. 304 to use a favorited item. Why not one or two or three or anything anything else? Got another pistol, some more rounds. A cryolator nice. case. Coming back later for you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna come back later for you. You gotta be a master to unlock that bad boy though. So we're definitely gonna have to do something uh uh with that later on, obviously. I don't even know what the heck it does though. It's probably a freezer gun though. So we gotta. Oh, we can actually pistol these guys. I think I'm still gonna do the. Uh, you know what? Yeah, let's try it out. Ho ho! This is actually pretty fun. Oh god! Oh god! They're way more dangerous than they look. <laughs> what? How is he still alive? How is he still alive, dude? All right, let's take all the red roach meat. We're gonna eat it all. Slurp it all up. Sometimes you can run. Just press E really, really quickly, and it'll just pick everything up. Also, I do like the bullet counter on the on the right side over there. Press R to reload your gun. Uh, I probably should save my bullets, but it's okay. So we can press... <gasps> Here it is. Oh, God. <laughs> I am freaking out a little bit from these roaches. Look at my health, though. It's, it's actually pretty reasonably low. Um, we can go through all this random area and try and find stuff, but I'm not in the mood to do all that nonsense. Let's just kind of go through here and uh, beat this mission. So, oh, come on, come on. Ugh, ugh, two shots take down a red roach? Talk about lame. So we got to, oh, we're going to find the pip boy already. That's awesome, man. So here's the pip boy. By the way, I did not end up getting the uh, the pip boy. I know a lot of, a lot of you guys might have ended up actually getting the uh, pre-ordered version of Fallout with the pip boy. And, uh... Basically, you put your smartphone inside this Pip Boy, and you can act like as a real-life Pip Boy. It's really cool looking. Um, a couple of my friends actually ended up getting it, which uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll showcase it or something like that. Maybe I'll let, let have them uh, let me borrow it or whatnot. So, anyways, we do things with the mouse. Okay, okay, and then we change things with A and D. All right, perfect. Clickety click. Oh, look at the top. Look at those little fingers. They move so fast, man. Play the piano. Like crazy over there. And then the T, T is to perk chart it up. Oh, so here we go. Here's the perk chart. So this is when we go up levels. You know, the, oh, here we go. We're already up uh, about one third of a level. And uh, every time we go up, it looks like we get some sort of star action or something like that. Definitely have to keep that in mind for the future. So let's also change our weapon back. You know, we don't really need to use the pistol. We got a security, security baton right now. Baton, these guys. Plus, I don't think they're going to have too many really, really ridiculously hard guys just yet. It's probably going to be pretty easy. So we got some weird little plug going on here. We got vault access, I guess. The, what does it say? Mag Magneto? Vault door cycling sequence. Okay, so we're in vault 111. I have to actually remember that, because I never remember the, the number of the vault, and it somehow turns up that uh, it's actually fairly important later on. So here we go. I just know I'm going to have to be killing... Rad roaches and bears and maybe some mire lurks and death claws. Who even knows what's gonna pop out of that door? We're gonna have to baton him to death. All right, so it seems like the goal of this entire game is to pretty much find our son. Our wife is dead, so screw her. We don't care about her anymore. Um, and oh man, this is pretty awesome. Not gonna lie, I just feel I feel so majestic just flying through. I just want to like open my arms and just let let the the thing carry me to the end. Feel like an eagle. 
By the way, eagles are B.A., man. I gotta tell you, one of the coolest animals in the world is a freaking eagle. Those doors taking forever. Oh, come on, man. I'm, just, I'm, in the, I'm excited. I want to see the outside here. So, oh, this is kind of fun, too. They actually give you the ability to change your stuff if you feel like changing it. I feel like I got a pretty consistent uh, thing. I didn't leave myself completely blank in any areas, um, and I didn't overkill in, in any. Um, so, I don't know. I, just, I feel like it's pretty good. I don't feel like changing it. Also, again, I'm not a huge appearance guy. If you guys want to go ahead and, and do your appearance, feel free. Uh, this isn't Sims to me. You know, this is kill some people, get some rad roaches going on, follow the story, and see how exciting it ends up being. In fact, oh, look at that. It was a secret social experiment conducted by vault Tech. Hmm, sounds pretty darn evil, if you ask me. Yeah, for sure. So in general, most of my videos are going to end up being right around 30 minutes. That's kind of the plan. But what I wanted to do is I really want to do, like, each video is its own quest. That's kind of the plan. Not for the first video, maybe the first two videos or so. Um, yeah, see, that? look at that. We got some radio signals and stuff like that. But for the first few videos, it's going to be a little bit awkward because we got just so much random stuff going on. So here we go. We're going to run. Oh, no, that's not the run button. Shift is the run button. Woo! So it looks so pretty, man. Oh my goodness. Look at the sky. The clouds look so real, I swear. That is just awesome. So by the way, if you're wondering, like, how the heck do you even know where you're going? I just follow the little green box. <laughs> but seriously, those are some amazing little uh, cumulo or cumulus clouds right there. I love them. Oh, we, ran the wrong, we went the wrong way. Oh, hey, look who's here. Is he evil? Oh, it's Codsworth! Oh! Those little frog guys. It's really you! Codsworth? What happened to the world? The world, sir? Well, besides our geranium still being the envy of Sanctuary Hills, I'm afraid things have been dreadfully dull around here. Things will be so much more exciting with you and Mrs. Back. Where is your better half, by the by? They... They killed her. Sir, these things you're saying, these, these terrible things, I, I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers! Or perhaps charades. Oh, <laughs> charades. does so love that game. <laughs> Is the lad uh, with you? They he stole, stole him. him. God damn it. Someone took him. Someone stole my son. It's worse than I thought. Mm -hmm. You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. I'm not gonna lie, it looks like he has a giant yellow dildo on his hand down there. Wait, whoa, whoa, did you say 200 years? years? What? what? Really? Are you? A bit over 210, actually, sir. Oh, give if you get, if you get look, look down there, man, if you get a chance. And some minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> that means you're uh, two cents look at late it. for dinner. <laughs> what else could it be? You up a snack? <laughs> you must be famished. Codsworth, you're acting a little bit weird. What's wrong? I... Ooh, I, nice. We persuaded him. Oh, sir, it's been just horrible. Two centuries with no one to talk to, no one to serve. I spent the first ten years trying to keep the floors waxed, but nothing gets out nuclear fallout from vinyl wood. <laughs> Nothing! And don't get me started about the futility of dusting a collapsed house! And the car! The car! How do you polish <laughs> rust? Well, this guy's just crazy, man. We gotta focus. Whoa! whoa. Focus, little buddy. Focus, Codsworth. Uh, I'm afraid I don't know anything, sir. The bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were dead I did find this holotape I, I believe the missus was going to present it to you 
as a, as a surprise. But then, well, everything happened. Give me that hollow tape, dog. What's on it? I believe it's a private message for you. My etiquette protocols would not permit me to play it for myself. Any standard holotape reading device should be able to play it back. Oh, like that pip boy on your arm. That should work brilliantly. Now, enough feeling sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? The missus and young Sean may turn up yet. All right. Lead the way. Crowd to serve, sir. All right, Codsworth, lead the way. I'm gonna baton some noobs. Let's see who am I gonna have to baton? Uh, who has 25 miles per hour in their uh, residential neighborhood? Nobody does that. It's always 20 miles per hour. At least that's what I thought. Oh! Oh! Get out of my face! Little boat fly. There's a Moro. Oh god! Oh god! They're shooting everything everywhere. All right, I'm sorry, guys. I know I make a lot of weird noise. Why would he have a hairbrush? Why would a boat fly, boat fly, have a hairbrush? That's just ridiculous. My senses are picking up movement in another house. Follow me. So, ooh, a Nuka Cola, pork and beans. We're finding all this cool stuff, man. So you really do have to pick up a lot of stuff. It is important. So here's already. Oh, look at that. We got a, a safe. Oh, we don't have any bobby, bobby pin. pins yet. Oh, gosh darn it. We gotta remember to come back to these places, guys. For sure. I don't know about those master places, but definitely for the other ones. Power attack. Oh, he's already fighting him, isn't he? Oh, we need to get in this, get in on this action. Blue flies. Oh, he killed him. He killed him with his giant yellow dildo arms. <laughs> There we go, we got a bloat fly gland and some cotton yarn. I don't know what this stuff does yet. Like, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to take it or not. I guess we'll take it for now. Maybe we'll just get rid of it later if we don't want to. Oh, you know what it is? It's his tank. All right, we figured it out. We figured it out. What else we got in here? Anything cool? Anything special? Seemingly no. Seemingly pretty craptastic stuff overall. It's all right. Why did he leave me in here? Hey, Codsworth. Mr. Chris, the Mrs. Oh, he knows my name. Sean, they aren't here. Thanks for trying, Codsworth. You can't give up, sir. What about the city? Concord is nearby, and, well, the people there have only shot at me a few times. There's still people alive in Concord? Yes, although they're a bit rough. You remember the way? Just across the southern footbridge out of the neighborhood and past the Red Rocket Station? I shall remain here and secure the home. Alright, so we completed this search. We completed all this cool stuff, man. Let's, uh, I'm trapped. Oh, man, I couldn't find the stupid exit. So I think we're right about there. Uh, you know what? Let's keep, let's keep going, man. This is a freaking special video, right? We gotta make sure we know that where the heck we're going. So we're gonna go towards this uh, gas station, the Red Rocket gas station, as you can plainly see. And you know what? Let's take the bridge, though, because I'm guessing that there's gonna be lots of radiation right here. Drinking water restore. Is it radiation or no radiation? Oh, cool. Oh, definitely radiation. <laughs> definitely radiation. <laughs> You've taken radiation damage, reducing your max health. Oh no! Why is it? What? No! How bad? Oh, I think it's just that little red bar. If you guys can see it down there on my little health, my health thing. Um, so when you get too much radiation, I guess that happens. So we get some. Ooh, we get some grenades and a jawless Brahmin skull. I don't think I'm gonna take that. That just sounds stupid. Sounds like I can't use it for anything. All right, so we made it across the bridge. There's a lot of cool stuff down there. I kind of want to check it out, man. A lot. Of, oh, ooh, look at this. Oh yeah, and a pipe pistol. Things probably sucks. What do you think is better, a tire iron or a, a baton? I don't know. I would think that a, a a tire iron would be way stronger than a baton, but a baton could just be like more swipey. You know, it could attack way faster. So, oh man, I keep messing that up. I keep pressing the caps lock button. So also, I just realized that running uses up your AP, which also... Ooh, look at a little puppy dog. Hello, hello, how you doing today? Hey, boy. 
What are you doing out here all by yourself? Look how cute he is. Where's your Who's owner at? Buddy? <laughs> okay then. Let's stick together. <laughs> Alright, that's awesome. We got a dog now. So we go get a stim pack, some blood packs and everything. Ooh, we got another stim pack laying out right next to the thing. The dog found something. What'd you find, little buddy? What, what did he find? I'm still confused. What do you want me? What do you want to lead me to? In here? Oh, we want to go to the Red Rocket Terminal? Sure, let's go to the business entries. New equipment. Finally got all the tools, blah, blah, blah. Having our Corvega, blah, blah, blah. Just blah, blah, blah. All right. No, no. Nice one, pretty. Kid seems like a like, brat, but I guess that's the point. Anyways, doing a good job. I'm sure we can help her out. This is all just junk stuff. I don't care about this stuff. Safe storage. Ooh, what's that? The barrels. If nature's going to favor us with the cave right below the shop, who am I to argue? Hmm. Might be some hidden stuff down there. Alright, let's go check that out, man. We're gonna go by the barrels. Ooh, we get a cap stash. We got some mentats. Awesome, man. We don't need battered clipboards or anything. That's just a joke. Alright, anything else that's really cool over here? We got a ham radio. We're going ham today, guys. Going ham. Alright, this is all just crap-tastic crap over here. We don't, we don't care about this stuff. He still wants me to go over here. I think I think he's a little bit confused. Oh my god, there they are. They're mole rats over here, dude. Oh, get out of my face, mole rats. Take all your crap, too. All of it. Slurp up all your mole rat meat. Any more mole rats to go around? Nah, good. Better run, mole rats. So we got some cram action, rat poison. I don't think I need rat poison though, do I? All right, so here we go. This is this is like the something that we really have to talk about here, guys. We've got the weapons workbench. Oh! It scared the crap out of me. Oh my god, these mole rats look way more evil than I remember. We got a kickball out of them. <laughs> why, why would a mole rat have a kickball? Did he eat it, or what? Does he roll around on it like a little clown mole rat? I don't know. A little jerk mole rat is what he is. So, um, we can now use the workshop at the Red Rocket Truck Stop. Also, here's the workshop. So we also have to talk about this stuff. This is super duper important. Allows you to build, adjust, and move nearby objects and structures. And you can move between all these options with this. So a lot of people are probably confused about what the heck this means and what you can actually do with this stuff. Uh-oh. I don't know how to turn it off. I don't know how to turn it off. Escape. There we go. All right. We gotta take down the mole rats first. That's the main agenda. Oh man, that dog is boss. He's just killing all the mole rats. He's also got a silver spoon. Silver tablespoon. We'll just take all their junk. I know I know, I know right now it's it's probably just stupid to do that, but but eh, what are you gonna do? So anyways, this is like extremely important. What you gonna do is you honestly you just take everything. Alright? Because you can build stuff with it. So you're like, hey, you know what, refrigerator? You can just scrap it. So you scrap it. Steel and rubber. Boom. What does that mean? Oh, you just you took literally the entire thing. And toaster, spring and steel and this thing, cabinet. Here, look at that. We got some wood and everything. So I'm not going to do this all over the place. But I'm going to show you guys what you can do with all this stuff. The only thing that I don't like is you press R. And then you have to press Enter on top of that. Which is uh, uh, kind of hard to do. At least slightly. Now, I don't think this takes up any of your weight or anything, so uh, that's not a promise, but uh, you can scrap, like, everything around here. I think they just really want you to scrap things around here just just because. Scrap all this, scrap that, and uh, we're almost to the amount of scrappage that we want. 
So we're just going to go steal some like tires and everything. You get crazy amounts of rubber. Check it out. We got uh, no people. We've got no food, no water, no power. So right now we're, we're, we're pretty bad. We got no defenses, no beds, and a happiness of 50. So what we can do is eventually we can uh, get like people and like make a town, I think, if we want to, if we go that crazy with it. Or maybe even two towns if we want to go absolutely crazy. But here's all these random things that like you don't really need anymore. We can even like check it out, make sure we take the... Uh, oops. Oh, and you can move things. You can be like, hey, what's up? I'm going to move this my new Coca-Cola spot right over here. Put it down. But I'm just going to take it. Just gonna scrap it. Only worth the steel, anyways. Cigarette machine, suck my balls. We don't need that crap. And we can even take out all this stuff, and this thing's worth eight steel. Holy crap! We can, like, literally, you can take almost everything, I swear. You can just scrap this bad boy, all the tires, you can take the chair, you can take literally everything. So, why is this important? Alright, like I said, you can pretty much build anything. So we just look at the structures. We're like, all right, I'll go up to the structures. We're going to go, oh, wood, or do we want metal? So we're going to go to uh, maybe a metal thing. You can build metal walls, metal roofs. You can basically build houses out of these things. And or uh, wooden things, you know, anything you want. Wood, floors, walls, roofs, stairs, miscellaneous. Or you can do something that's more important. Like maybe you need to build something like a generator. The problem with building things like generators, which are actually really important, is they require lots of things that are kind of hard to get. So like, for example, you need some ceramic here and it only produces three power. Now we don't have any ceramic. We have two gears, barely enough gears. We have a lot of steel, a lot of rubber, a lot of, a lot of uh, copper, but we don't have the ceramic yet. So we can't build our generator, which again is a fairly important thing to get. Build even bigger generators and all these windmills and crap, you know, I mean, they get pretty intense. And then after you get that, that's when it starts getting uh, uh, more important where you get these miscellaneous, like, uh, recruitment radio beacons, which, like, basically recruit people and, and all this other random crap, you know, I mean, just light boxes, it just gets ridiculous with all these things. But it's, it's kind of like you can build your own town, which is super duper fun and interesting. So anyways, just to show you exactly what happens when you do build something, let's just show you, uh, we'll build, I don't know, how about a metal wall? So we're going to build a metal wall. Here we go. It requires not much at all to build it. Just go like this, and we will build it. There we go. We can build tons of them if we want. Just go boinkity, 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 boink. It takes a little bit of wood, a little bit of steel, not much at all. But we built all these crazy things, and then... They don't, they don't really do much, but, but, but at least they're there, right? And they, they don't really... Uh, uh, have physics apply as much as they probably should either, which is kind of funky. But that's okay. So we're just going to exit out of this, and we're going to continue on to our final destination for today's video, which is whatever this town was called. I don't remember the name of it. And we're getting our baton back out. Chicka chicka boom boom. So let's get this place going, and then in the next video, we're definitely going to continue on with the quests. I promise you guys, we're getting to, in, into some more killing action. We're just con Concord. So we went up a level. Sweet. Hold tab to open up your chart. And this is pretty much uh, what I was telling you guys about. You get all these stars here, and you get to pick what you want to upgrade. Now, the crazy thing is a lot of the things that you have to upgrade, you need to have a certain level or something like that. So, uh, for example, I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm just going to go for strength. I've been using a lot of hand attack things, and it seems like it's working out pretty well for me. So let's use, let's get some more uh, strength. So for these, you can actually check out what the next rank is going to be. So it's kind of fun to just think about how you want to upgrade things because the next ranks matter. So when you press Alt, you could be like, oh, well, it's just going to give you more and more crap, right? So you're not actually getting it. You're just seeing what will happen if we upgrade our perception. But then once you get to these levels, okay, your quick hands get sticky fingers and makes pickpocketing 25% easier. Or you can go 50% uh, easier, 75% easier, twice as easy. Automatic rifles do 20% more damage, 40% more damage, and less armor. It's like all these weird things. You know, lead belly, digestive tract, and you can keep getting more and more stars to see what it ends up giving you. You get no radiation from eating or drinking, but it requires level 17 and uh, an endurance of at least 2. So, you know, it gets, uh, gets kind of crazy with all the random things that you can end up getting. But I know that once you get down to the bottom here, it's not just like uh, level 10 or 12 or anything like that. You're talking level... Level 39, level, you know, 
38, and all these ridiculously high level 47, man. That, that's the only way you can unlock these things. If you get to level 47, so think of how high we're going to have to get to unlock all of these things. It's going to be absolutely ridiculous. So anyways, um, that's going to be all I'm going to have for you guys today. If you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate a like. You know, we're trying to get, uh, trying to make some pretty awesome videos for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed, and if you did, subscribe! And or, have a super duper delicious day.